Kristalina Georgieva, the Bulgarian commissioner designate for vice president responsible for budget and human resources, has defended her nomination to members of the European Parliament for a second term. She is currently serving as commissioner for international cooperation, humanitarian aid and crisis response. During her mandate, she has gained wide recognition for her activity and direct involvement in crisis management with aid to Haiti, Pakistan and Chile. The budget portfolio is a good match for Georgieva's experience and education. She has a PhD in economics and a master in political economy and sociology. Before starting her first mandate as commissioner, she worked at the World Bank for 17 years in various positions, the last of which as vice president and corporate secretary. Georgieva faced questions from three European Parliament's committees, budgets, budgetary control and legal affairs. She started her presentation by highlighting three areas as the cornerstones of her future policy. What are we achieving with every, every euro spent to help our people and our economies? Are our controls strong enough to prevent the funds that our citizens give us from abuse, from fraud? And are we doing everything we can to secure the conditions for our staff to excel and to have high morale because of a job well done. Mrs. Georgieva pledged for more money but no extra credit and recalled the flexibility clause on the EU's long-term budget. We are not asking for more payment credits than what we have in the MFF now. What we are asking is to simply provide more today to cope with unusual and unforeseen circumstances. On top of the budget cuts, what we face are uh, unexpected higher uh, quantity of bills for, uh, from cohesion policy. We have the uh, impact of acceleration, front-loading of some programs, very important programs, and the new state-building contract for Ukraine. The Commissioner-designate underlined that the money spent on various projects should produce very high value and outcome. Take the pilot project bond. Its multiplier is up to 40 times the investment the EU makes, 40 times. These innovative uh, financial instruments will have a very important role to play in the 300 billion euro investment package. We also can invest our budget more in projects with multiple objectives and multiple benefits. For example, the new cohesion policy will increase investment in energy efficiency measures. And these are investments that boost uh, local businesses, building isolation, you don't import it from China, it's locally done. It helps to create jobs, helps us to reduce CO2 emissions and fight climate change.